Hi, my name is Kyle Coberlon and I'm a truck and RV sales consultant at Bluegrass International in Georgetown, Kentucky. And today I have behind me a 2023 Midwest Automotive Designs Passage MD2 on the 170 Extended. So let's get to talking about this coach. Here we are looking at the front end of this MD2 Passage. Uh, so this is, there are some confusions out there. I think people don't realize that there are a few versions of the MD2. Uh, this is the 170 extended. So the total length of the vehicle is 24 foot two inches. Whereas there is an MD2 170 standard, which is the length is 22 foot 10 inches. Uh, just so the people understand that because online, very few people do a good job um, of distinguishing the differences between the two. This unit is rear, uh, rear wheel drive. Uh, it does have the Sumo Spring upgrade uh, for a little bit better ride. It takes out some of the body roll when you're driving down the road. And of course, your all season tires on aluminum wheels. We'll continue to walk around this coach and uh, we'll talk about some of the features on the exterior. So, uh, all your windows, tinted side, rear windows. And these are just some of the key features. This is a freedom, this is the freedom package. We'll get to talking about that shortly. You do have a receiver in the back uh, with a seven way plug for your trailer lights uh, if you are towing a trailer behind this. I've actually seen some trending stuff on uh, some people where they'll have like a van like this. I know some professional kayakers out there. Uh, that I follow and uh, they have uh, a four-wheel drive version and then they actually tow a trailer behind it uh, for their daughters. I thought that was super cool. I did because you know you can be traveling, drop the trailer at a campsite or wherever you're staying and then use the van itself to get around which is what a lot of people are doing and that's one of the huge appeals uh, to this size of coach is you really it's just a big SUV and you can take it anywhere you want. Um, another thing too about it being any of the van build stuff. So right, so whether it be a Ford or a Dodge or a Mercedes with the diesel engine, you know, one of the huge selling points is the fact that, you know, the entire exterior shell of the vehicle is automotive, uh, which means it passes a lot of t testing. So crash testing, roll testing, and all that kind of stuff, just like any automobile does in the industry. When you get into stuff that, which, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying when you get into like coaches that have custom built boxes on them using a cutaway chassis, there are there is no roll testing or crash testing with those units. So there is a little more security uh, and more, you know, a lot of the automotive stuff, you know, there's a lot more robotically built stuff as far as the exterior shell and paint processes are done robotically versus when you get into the big units, you know, you're talking about stuff that's a lot more hand done. Uh, so really to get a quality unit like the Renegade that we sell, you kind of have to go to a, the higher end units. Of course, I said it's got the aluminum wheels. You've got a rear backup camera system. You can see that up at the top. You can see your over the air antenna up there as well. You've got exterior LED lighting here for your campsite. You've got a power awning up there as well which has an LED light. It's a power slide door. You have a rooftop, a rooftop solar charging system. On the utility side you have an all-in-one utility bay which you can see here. So there's your all-in-one utility bay, and the Midwest products come with a macerator. Uh, so you have this very small hose that's on a reel that you pull out, and that is what you hook up to your sewer, and it actually pumps and grinds all of your black and gray out of the coach into the sewer. So super convenient and way less messy than a big clunky hose. And then you don't have a uh, sewer drain down, you know, hanging low to the ground uh, that could potentially get hit. Um, and just looks less attractive. You got an outdoor shower as well in here. So you've got a black tank flush, a gray tank flush, 
Of course, city water fill, you have a little knob that you use to tell it to, you know, use your intending water as, you know, city pressure or to fill your fresh tank. You've got a power retract on your macerator. And you've got, ooh, that's fancy. You've got an electric. This is the first one I've seen with this. Um, you've got a black tank and a gray tank valve, and it is an electric valve. Uh, and then, of course, there's the switch for the waste pump to pump the fluid out. And then a cable inlet if you're camped somewhere where you've got cable service. You know, I RV myself, uh, and my, my coach is actually a Mercedes 3500 chassis, but it is a cutaway, so it's a, the, you know, the, there's only A, B, and C class in theory, but people have kind of coined subcategories, uh, so this is truly a B, and then, you know, the cutaways a lot of people refer to as B+. Plus. You know, once again, I have a chassis very similar to this. Uh, I do really like my mirrors that I have on my coach. Uh, this convex mirror works really well for being able to see oncoming traffic. And then, of course, you've got blind spot as well, a notification in the, in the mirror. You can see your uh, side view camera on the driver's side. Of course, LED headlights. You've got a front view camera. So this, is, this coach was ordered with the upgraded camera system. Your side view camera on the uh, passenger side. So not only do you have a screen at the back door, which we'll go look at here in a second, but you've got a screen right here at the main door. That snaps over nice and tight. Keep all your bugs. That way you can let in fresh air uh, while you're parked at a beautiful, beautiful view of the ocean or the forest or a big mountain is kind of what usually I prefer. Uh, if we go to the back of the coach here, you'll see up top that there's a pull-down screen as well to keep the bugs out. So if you really want to get the air going, of course, this uh, bench folds down and makes a bed. So you could be laying here looking out the back at the ocean. Uh, the, you know, the possibilities are pretty endless. Midwest does an awesome job on their stitching and their leather seats. Uh, not only are they durable, but they look top notch. Uh, you've got fore and aft adjustment on your seats as well as uh, recline. Um, the seats do swivel, so you can turn them in and use them into the coach area for extra seating. And then the driver's seat even has like a little work table behind it that can flip up. So if you're a remote worker and want a place to sit your laptop and work and have kind of an office space, there's even a USB and a um, uh, 110 volt outlet right there too. So I mean, you get pretty creative. You know, if I was a remote worker too, I mean, you could potentially, <laughs> you could potentially mount a monitor on the wall there too. So if you wanted to have like a laptop with a dual monitor set up, I mean, you could get pretty. There's a, you've got room there to kind of be creative uh, and create like a little workspace if you are in fact a remote worker. That would be pretty neat. Of course, this is the newer Mercedes chassis that's been out for a while now as far as the uh, dash, the upgraded transmission. I have to admit it does shift a little bit smoother, seems a little peppier. Uh, the display that's over there on the top left of the dash, that's the camera system. Uh, that uh, It's the surround view camera system with monitor. And that when you have that screen up and you're driving, it shows you full time, you know, the back of the coach, the sides of your coach, and the front of your coach. Uh, so it gives you a lot of security and, and uh, just when you're moving and parking that kind of stuff that you don't hit anything and you can see your surroundings very easily. Some of the features we'll talk about inside of here is that it is a uh, diesel and electric water heater, diesel and electric powered coach furnace. You have HDMI inputs to the main TV that's back here in the rear. It's right here. You have multiple USB 12 volt chargers throughout the coach. Of course, you have a rear TV back here. You've got a rear FM Bluetooth radio. It's the rear, it's a JL audio surround sound system, so it sounds awesome. Your uh, touch controls are uh, digital. So you can see one of the panels there, and then your main panel that's up here in the front. So you've got complete control of your coach, you know, your lighting, your home screen, uh, temperature control, your fan. If you go to settings, you can go into here, 
scan the QR code and even set up a mobile app so you can control everything from your phone and then the button to turn on your 12 volt fridge then you've got your Victron uh, battery, monitor, battery monitor up here uh, for your Freedom Lithium battery package. Well, once again, I'll touch on that in here in a little bit because there's a lot to that. Of course, your standard stuff like uh, smoke, propane, carbon dioxide detector, fire extinguisher. You got a climate controlled roof fan, solid surface countertops as you can see. The sink is molded in with a flush top counter cover so that you can use that as a workspace as well. Dovetail drawers with soft close. The, uh, you have soft touch automotive color keyed walls and headliner. So all this stuff here, super high quality, including on the ceiling. You know, one of the things you can do you know when you're looking at coaches and stuff to buy is you can take a credit card or a business card and you can kind of go around and you can kind of see like where can I shove you know this is all very tight fit you know you look at some of the other brands and I'm not gonna knock a brand and name a brand but there's plenty of brands out there and brands that are popular that you go around and it's like man things are loose they're loose fitting wobble not a tight fit um, and you can just tell like when you open up a drawer like, I mean, look at this, dovetail construction drawers, soft clothes. You don't see stables and nails and screws. So this is a, this is a high quality product. I mean, we, you know, you pay a little more for that, but you know, you gotta know what, you, you know, what you're getting and, and why you're paying what you are. You got a composite seamless floor. You know, they order 15 half inch sheets of uh, plywood for the floor so that you don't ever get a spot in the floor where there's a joint and you can feel that when you're walking on it or if it ever has any separation issues. I'll go ahead and touch. So this coach is equipped with the Freedom Package and what that means there is no propane, there is no propane generator. It has a 600 amp hour lithium battery package with a 3000 watt inverter and a 12 volt 12 volt rooftop AC. So this up here is a 12 volt AC unit uh, and that will run off the battery system. 600 amp hours is a ton. Um, if you think about, you know, most AC units require a lot of energy at startup, but then once they get rolling and the temperature is adequate, you know, it doesn't take near as much for them to keep up or use as much energy. You know, 600 amp hours, um, you, know, you multiply that by 12 with the 12 volt system and that gives you the amount of watts you have available and so you can start to look up stuff like the induction cooktop and the TV so the average t like that TV back there for example probably I don't know how if I had to guess it probably uses 40 watts 50 watts running um, so I mean you better run that TV for a long time and all these LED, you know, these LED lights probably draw like a watt or two. So when you're talking about, you know, 600 amps, amp hour batteries that are lithium, you know, they'll last a really long time. And of course, the advantage to lithium is lithium has a much larger depth of discharge than a lead acid battery. So you get, even though like the ratings are the same, you get a lot more energy out of the lithium because you can discharge them farther. Uh, your typical lead acid battery, you don't want to discharge below 60%. In theory, you can take a lithium battery to zero, so that gives you—I mean—that much more energy to use. Um, and that's a conversation you can call, and we can talk about it in greater detail. I'm very familiar with solar systems and lithium versus lead acid or AGM and all that kind of stuff. But that Freedom package really gives you just, you know, like, like oh, I wish I had a generator. Well, let me tell you something. You know, if you had a propane generator and you thought you're going to be using a generator a lot on, a lot on something like this, and I'm not saying. Generates a big no-no, and, and the lithium package is not cheap by any means. I mean, lithium technology is it has a decent price tag to it, but you, that generator underneath this coach is loud. So if that's something you're going to rely on a lot, you're you're better off with lithium. And if there's cases where you think you know I need a generator for a specific occasion or trip, you know I pack, like my coach has a diesel generator on board. But a lot of times, depending on where I'm going and if I want to disturb my neighbors less, and I don't need like massive amounts of electricity, just a little bit to recharge on a long like boondocking trip where I'm not going to have electricity at my site, I'll take my little Honda Quiet Generator. Um, I even converted it so I can run it on propane too. 
and that way I can sit that away from my coach and plug into it with my cord and I'm not hearing that generator near as loud inside of my coach and I minimize my use I'm very respectful of my neighbors because I'm more of the adventurous camper than the RV resorts now I've definitely been to some really nice RV resorts especially one that we really like down in the Florida Keys but for the most part we're kind of more on the adventurous side yeah now that I've talked about a lot of the key highlights I'll just kind of give you a quick look over the coach and how the, the dash is laid out it's a push button start you got a remote key fob you've got radio control speed controls all that stuff right there on your steering wheel you got a storage compartment it's really large right here above where the driver and the passenger are seated part of that JBL I'm sorry JL audio sound system your stainless microwave right here you've got tons of storage right behind the driver's seat lots of fridge space refrigerators today too are super economical as far as energy consumption uh, I've got a 12 volt cooler that I uh, use quite a bit and my wife thought was unnecessary but uh, it's nice when we go on trips when we're not necessarily taking the motor home like just to visit the in-laws on a four or five hour trip I mean I I've left that cooler in the back of my car on a 3000 watt lithium battery I mean for weeks and it doesn't take my battery but down to 60 percent I mean it's crazy I mean and that was even like in the summertime when my car was getting hot in the middle of the day so pretty cool just how energy efficient a lot of the 12 volt systems are today so here's your of course your sink it's been winterized that's what the pink stuff is so nothing freezes we're a little cold in Kentucky right now you got it right here for some easy access stuff for like you know probably your stuff you use to clean dishes and whatnot of course your soft closed drawers a very tight soft closing drawer which is good you don't want drawers coming out while you're traveling another soft closed drawer you got a waste basket right here You got underneath your induction cooktop. You got a bunch of storage down here as well. Uh, just for those that know, a true induction cooktop does require special pots and pans. Uh, it has to do with a, it's a magnet system. Uh, now, those special pots and pans, and there's one I highly recommend, and you know, hit me up, I can send you a link, can be used on other heating sources. So just traditional stoves, gas stoves. You could, those are fine, but you, but if it to work on induction, you have to have a, tr a true induction cookware set. Your max air fan controls, of course, your bath light. This was update uh, upgrade uh, order with the updated glass door, which has got a fog to it. You make it a little bit more brighter in there when you're showering, and not feel so closed in. You've got a wet bath with a stainless sink. Of course, there's your toilet that drops down into your uh, black tank. You got a toilet paper holder, which is covered, you know, so it's waterproof, so your toilet paper's not getting wet if you're showering. And then you've got a fan in here as well to suck out any moisture. You know, another thing on the Midwest product that you'll really appreciate is the fact that they actually put a finish on a lot of the appliances, uh, like the air conditioner or even the vent covers that matches the interior instead of it being the white that would come standard from that from that manufacturer so instead of looking kind of odd and out of place it all you know it all flows really beautifully I put down that rear bench uh, so I love this lounge layout because you know one you can seat safely three people in the back and you can safely seat and you know with seat belts two people in the front uh, so you can cart five people around so you know if you've got people that want to go with you on a just a let's say you're not going camping but you're just going to the zoo for the day or going to do something you know a ski slope or whatever it may be I mean you, you got you can cart five people in like in style I mean <laughs> I mean you got a refrigerator a microwave and you know audio systems and you know comfy seating and TV in the back for whoever's I mean so I mean there's a lot of people who love these just for just day travel and not even necessarily the camping aspect 
But, you know, when you put that down, and then, of course, these cushions fill them this spot. You've got a queen-size bed back here. Uh, so, I mean, this is a really nice area. I mean, I could totally picture me and my family laid out here, that screen down, doors open, just looking at a breathtaking view. Who knows where? Um, of course, you've got shades that pull down over your window for privacy. And they've got screens in them as well, so, you know, for airflow, but still keep the bugs out. And then what I want to point out, too, is, you know, what's really nice is, you know, everything on the coach is on a multiplex wiring system. And so instead of having switches throughout the entire coach where everything's turned on or off individually, you can control one from your smartphone if you, if you uh, tie it to it, uh, link it. But then you can also control, you know, turn your internet on and off, water pump. You know, I can sit back here and be in bed, hit all off, and every light in the coach goes off. So I don't have to like walk back to the front if I'm already laying down cozied up under my blankets. You know, I can turn all my lights on and off from one spot. So that's really neat with the multiplex wiring. And you'll see that on a lot of your high-end coaches. And then back here where we've got our TV, you know, we've got, of course, our Bluetooth radio fusion system, which is an awesome system. You can see where you got an HDMI input if you want to be able to hook up something, a gaming system or whatever it may be. And, of course, more outlets. I mean, <laughs> there's no shortage of outlets. Uh, so, I mean, this coach has everything you need for just some luxury travel and uh, happy to talk to anybody about it. One of the things you'll hear from people is, you know, on these vans and stuff is really the lack of storage. And, you know, Midwest has done an awesome job of storage. I mean, you have a closet right here with hanging storage. I showed you some of the kitchen storage, you know, with the drawers, you know, the, the storage that are right next to the fridge. You've got tons of storage up top here. So, I mean, that's a huge storage compartment. They've made them deeper. Uh, that's another thing, too, about this being the longer, you know, the longer uh, coach because a lot of people are listening to these online and, you know, they're not specifying that it's the shorter version and there's not as many as, as the longer versions out there. Um, I mean, just look at the storage down through there. Holy moly. Now, what I can recommend if, you know, you just need more storage, golf clubs, you know, or whatever it may be, the perfect thing they make for these is for the hitch is they make a big pill looking box that's waterproof that you know you can hook to the hitch and it has an arm that swings away so you can still open your back doors and that gives you a huge storage container on the back. Uh, Yakima makes one where they, you can actually stack two on top of each other. You can have a storage box on the bottom end and a storage box at the top end and they swing out of the way. I mean it, they got a lot of cool options for storage um, and then say if you plan on towing anything but still want more storage I mean it's simply a matter of just buying a dual uh, receiver hitch uh, so you could have your hitch for your ball to tow a trailer and still have that swing away uh, storage boxes. That's I do that with uh, a bike rack on my motorhome is I've got uh, two bikes back there and then I've got tow bars underneath for towing. I have a Subaru Crosstrek that I flat tow sometimes and um, not always but sometimes depending on where I'm going and uh, that works out super well. The last thing I'll touch on is, uh, so underneath here, you've got the board that goes across here, which is what allows you to put those cushions in to make this in the big bed area. I mean, I really want one of these, I'm sorry. But <laughs> I like the motorhome I got. Um, but uh, so, you, and then of course you got wheel, you know, people are like, oh, that's not storage. Well, you got wheel wells on there for the wheels that take up a lot of that space already. Uh, so that's where they'll stash a lot of the key components, whether it be inverters, transfer switches, uh, water pumps and all that kind of stuff uh, just in plus you, you know the, there's access to pull these seats up and then you can pull out those panels and you can actually get to some of that componentry if it ever needs repair you know same thing with the other side and then that bracket down there that is so that you can actually there's a table up front that uh, slides into this spot so you can sit back here in the back and basically have a, a lounge with a table and, and eat dinner and that kind of stuff I'll show you real quick just how easy it is um, to uh, you know put your sofa back into an incline. You just hold the button down. If I can put my finger on it, and you can see just how fast you know it goes right back to a upright position. And then you know if you want to be a little cozy back here, as far as like traveling, you know you can put it into a little bit of a recline, so you can sit back. You know, heck, I'm Joseph. If I was a kid. You know, you can sit back here while mom and dad are driving or, or uh, your friends are up driving. You're back here hanging out, you know, have something going on the TV. So uh, 
definitely a, a, an awesome vehicle and, and a lot of uses really in what you could do with this vehicle once again my name is kyle coberline i'm a truck and rv sales consultant with bluegrass international in georgetown kentucky we are a renegade dealer we sell cortez campers uh, we sell the midwest automotive product that i'm standing in right now uh, we, we're an eagle carport dealer so <laughs> i had a bright idea it's like you know we should be a metal building dealer because people ask me how do i how do you cover like how to keep this out of the sun uh, you know how to which is really important if you want to keep this a long time is to keep the sun off of any you know camper or trailer that you have for long term uh, i have two eagle buildings and so i called the manufacturer and i surprised to me there was nobody in the area that was a dealer i said well let's sign us up so i can help you with a building if necessary um and of course we're an international truck dealer uh, ic bus dealer for school bus uh so we you know we're we kind of cover a wide spectrum of stuff uh but all of that stuff you know the high-end campers that we sell uh motor coaches you know the the truck stuff i mean we're a technical sales staff here um you know we can really explain a lot of componentry how things work in great detail you know why would you spend this much more money for this product versus another uh instead of having to do so much of your own research and i welcome you do as much research as you want uh but then you you know we'll we'll keep up with you and hope to teach you a few things more uh but feel free to reach out to me anytime and please like comment and subscribe mm -hmm.